when Nissan created its first full-size sport utility vehicle, the Pathfinder Armada, it did so in the traditional way, using the platform of its full-size Titan pickup. Although there's now a new Titan pickup from which a new full-size ute could be spun, Nissan decided that worldwide volume for big, body-on-frame SUVs, which sell pretty much only in North America and the Middle East, could be accommodated by consolidating its offerings around the international market Nissan Patrol. That vehicle, leather-lined and re-engineered for a more pampered, pavement-oriented life, already is the basis for the Infiniti QX80, and now it has spawned the new Nissan Armada. The styling changes from the Infiniti are evident mostly up front, where the Armada adopts a Nissan family face. And while we might have hoped to see the QX80 single quote S chrome fender trim disappear here, the driver's side vent is actually functional as an engine air intake, so the vents stay. Peek inside the luxurious cabin and you might not notice any changes at all from the Infiniti. Padded surfaces abound, hard plastic has been all but banished, and the newer model marks a wholesale upgrade in interior finery over its predecessor. Even the base SV comes with navigation, a 13-speaker Bose stereo, dual power seats, and a backup camera. The SL adds leather, power operation for the third row seats, a power lift gate, and 20-inch wheels. The Platinum, tested here, brings a sunroof, heated and cooled front seats, seat heaters for the second row, and dual rear seat entertainment screens, among other nice yetis. The Platinum also gets a full spate of driver assist technologies, which are optional on the midline SL. While Lux, the new cabin is smaller than before in most dimensions, although some of the previous model's space was largely wasted and served only to make the driver feel buried in a vast, plastic cavern. The newer model doesn't feel as huge from behind the wheel, and it affords decent sight lines from the driver's seat. We also like that Nissan wisely supplements the standard touchscreen with plenty of physical buttons and knobs. The second row is narrower than before but still offers generous head and legroom. The standard third row is notably more cramped, having lost almost 4 inches of legroom and more than 3 inches of shoulder room from the previous model. Nissan still optimistically provides 3 seat belts, but the cushion is low to the floor and footroom is tight. It's also a tough climb to get back there, even though the second row seats scoot out of the way with the flick of a lever, 